what is going on everybody in today's video we're going to show how to check an oil differential check valve so right here we got the oil reservoir it's pretty empty there's no oil in it the compressors have oil but reservoir is pretty empty so go around check out this check valve right here the stamp number on the valve it's just the differential pressure setting against the suction crankcase of the compressors. So if it's 10, it'll be 10 pounds over the suction of the compressors, or 20, which is most standard, it'll be 20 pounds over the suction crankcase. So that check valve, it's just gonna make our oil flow out of the reservoir into the oil float of the compressors into the actual compressor itself. So down here, it's when it comes out of the reservoir. The line going all the way to all the oil fronts of the compressors down the whole line which is only three compressors for this rack right here so now i'm getting ready to check the actual check valve so first thing i want to do is isolate the reservoir i'm going to shut off the line leaving to the compressors Now I'm going to shut off the inlet coming in from the separator. And now the vent line coming from the suction header into the check valve. So right here is just the hand valve I'm just going to shut off. So I'm trying to completely isolate the reservoir right now. Right now, checking the suction pressure, which is 54 pounds. And the reservoir right now, it is 70 pounds. So once again, I got about 72 pounds in the reservoir right now. And my suction group is at... 53. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm grabbing discharge pressure from the transducer right here. What I'd like to do is fill up the reservoir up to 100 pounds over. So right there I'm going to be charging it up from the bottom. So I'm just going to let a little bit of pressure from the discharge. I like to go 100 flat but right now I want to go a little bit over. So I'm just charging it up putting pressure on it keep going come on so that's good enough so my total is 116 117 right around there so I got 116 pounds in the reservoir so this is closed down, completely isolated, and lit outlet of the oil reservoir. So the check valve stamped for 20. There you go, let's focus now. 20 pounds. So the way to test these is once it's charged up to whatever, just 100 pounds I usually go, 55 pounds. So once I open up that vent line, the reservoir pressure should be going 20 over the suction. So if I have 55, once I open this up, it should be going to 75. So let's do it right now. Come on, 75. Seventy-five pound check valve works. If the check valve didn't work it would be completely even with the suction so if it was 55 pounds and you open it up and it's still 55 the check valve is bad it's not working you need to replace it and that's the easy way to check a check valve so now that we've checked i'm going to open everything back up don't want any compressors going off on oil so opening up the line coming from the oil separator Now going out to the compressors.
and the equalizing line to the section grip has already been open when I tested it. Back online. In all my years, I've probably had only two check valves that have gone bad on me. It's not very common that they do. And the only time I do check them is when all the compressors are off on oil. But it's usually the oil separator that's pretty much just stuck. That bad boy right there with the float inside of it. It's usually just plugged up and stuck and it's not opening and allowing oil into the reservoir. That's the most common problem with the oil systems for the rack. Eventually, I'll make a video on the entire oil system for a rack. From the oil separator, the screens, the socks going into it, to the oil float that gets stuck on the bottom, going into the reservoir, the check valve coming out, and then to the oil filter leaving, going into the compressor oil floats, how to adjust those. But just wanted to make a quick one on the check valve. They hardly go bad, but the only time I check them is when the entire rack is off and then I have to look at the whole picture, not just the one compressor. Look at this little guy go. Let me see how much oil it has on it. If I can even see it from here. Have to pull out the flashlight, I couldn't really see it. So it has half a side glass. Have you ever seen the white foamy on inside of it? That's liquid in the compressor, so no bueno. It usually happens when it's been off for long periods of time. And that's gonna be all for the video. So subscribe and leave a like and uh, thanks for watching. Hope this video helped out.